Hello, welcome to this edition of Our Schools. My name is Nancy Lesikowski, and I'm the Vice President of the West Seneca Central Board of Education. This episode of Our Schools has been created by the students of West Seneca Central School District. I hope you enjoy what you see here today to see all the different things that our students do in our district. You're watching EHS Television. East TV proudly serving West Seneca East Senior High School with Tina Hall, Alexis Johnson, and Michael Lepardi. From our studio at East Senior, this is East TV Special Report. Hello and welcome to this edition of East TV Special Report. I'm Michael Lepardi. And I'm Alexis Johnson. Today, we're here to highlight some of the many characteristics of West Seneca itself with special attention to our schools. This portion of the show deals with elementary, middle, and senior high schools on the east side of town. First, we will focus on the basics, the town where some of these great schools flourish. Our own West Seneca's East TV's Tina Hall has some more information on the town many of us call home. It's Alexis and Mike. Hello everyone. The town of West Seneca was established in 1851 and today has a population of roughly 56,000. But the people are just one of the many important factors that make this community what it is. From restaurants and shops to patriotism, here's just some of what West Seneca has to offer. If you're short on gas, a quick fill is just around the corner. Looking for a late night snack? Never fear, Garden View is open 24 hours. Or perhaps you prefer Tony Rome's. West Seneca is a small town in New York with its own unique features. For example, here the market is right in the square. And Evans National Bank seems to be our local bank. Southgate is the main gate, and the public library is as popular as Everything in this town just seems so... convenient. Of course, all of this information is key to your understanding of our little town where patriotism ranges from legions to street names and so forth. Where numbers like 16, 277, and 400 actually mean something to us. A place where town hall is in the middle of the town, and the police force is always ready with a helping hand if needed. You're just a bus ride away from downtown. It's a place that many call West Seneca, but a place that we call home. Of course, that's just some of West Seneca, but as residents, we know of the many hidden treasures, like the influential and successful school system. A child's first step in school is primary education. The east side of town promotes three elementary schools, which strive for excellence in preparing children for higher education. A visitor to West Seneca will first come across Northwood Elementary, located on the border with Chictawaga, housing students from kindergarten through sixth grade. Northwood students pride themselves with their motto as being shining stars. Welcome to Northwood Elementary School, home of the shining stars. It is within this building where students learn not only the core classes, but many valuable lessons which they can take with them and use throughout their lives. This is Northwood Elementary and uh, we have approximately 600 students kindergarten through sixth grade here and um, the traditional elementary uh, subjects that that we've all had to go through um, that's social studies english science math um, phys ed music um, um, instrumental um, uh, we have orchestra um, so we have the whole gamut of, of all the classes that we need to be teaching here at, at northwood elementary here, the students do not only call themselves shining stars, but pride themselves on living up to the motto every day through their academics and through the character education program that Northwood offers to its students. Well, I think our, our, our students shine every day. Um, they shine in their behavior. Uh, we have a wonderful character ed program that we do, what we call Project Wisdom, where we have morning announcements that really focus into the key words of character education. For instance, respect, responsibility, and um, really emphasize that with our students and and I really have to say our sh our students kindergarten through sixth grade really shine in regards to their behavior and and how they demonstrate character each day with with the teachers with uh, with each other 
The faculty at Northwood does not only strive to build character, but also places an emphasis on community service. Students have done several activities throughout the year, such as selling shamrocks to benefit muscular dystrophy to give back to the community whenever possible. We try as much as, as we can to gear any of our things that we do here to tie into the community because the community is so supportive of the Northwood Elementary students and staff here. But Northwood's success isn't just attributed to the community. It is the involvement of the parents which gives this learning facility the positive and friendly atmosphere that it has and makes it stand out from other schools. One of the things about Northwood Elementary is that we try to make this a, a, a place for students and parents where they feel like they belong. And uh, that's a real emphasis for everybody here in this building is having a sense of family here. And I think anybody who walks in um, to our building, goes into our classrooms, comes into the office, will have a sense that you know we care about kids here and we really support families in helping in any way that we can. Northwood's commitment to student success is evidenced by its determined faculty and high attendance rates. Thanks, Tina. As we said, Northwood is only one of the three elementary schools at which young students attend. Another learning facility for primary education is Clinton Street Elementary. Home to 542 students, a special atmosphere inside Clinton Street represents the quality of education students there receive. Welcome to Clinton Elementary home of the Clinton Cougars, also home to many exceptional students and staff. Clinton contains 542 students, 41 teachers, and 36 staff members. From music to art, sports to clubs, Clinton shares a diverse atmosphere with plenty for all to learn. The emphasis for our school as it is district-wide is literacy. At Clinton we use the research-based four blocks framework. This balanced literacy approach is designed to be both multi-level and multi-method. Clinton follows the four-block framework. One block is guided reading. The next is writing. Following this is self-selected reading. Finally is working with words. Clinton is also known for its creativity in their extracurricular activities. We also have various intramural sports offered to students in grades 3 to 6. Instrumental music students participate in orchestra, concert band, jazz band, and chamber ensembles. We have a fifth and sixth grade chorus, and several of our students have participated in some of the all-county performance groups as well. All-county is not the only honor students receive. Working in an art class, students get the opportunity to create their yearbook cover. Students can walk down the hallways and observe artwork of both their fellow students and alumni. Children are not limited to traditional styles of artwork. They can now express their creativity digitally. Another creative style of learning is running a corner store. The Cougar Corner Store is uh, kind of an expansion of our, our previous school store. And uh, it, it's taken on a, a different focus. It's now uh, another avenue for raising funds for charitable causes. Clinton contains a student-run post office in which students may write to each other and send it through their postal service, which is located on the first floor. They purchase a stamp for one cent to show them how to connect with real-life situations. The Friendship Club at Clinton helped in the collection of cans in their school's food drive. All students from kindergarten to sixth grade actively participated. The collected items were delivered to the Food Bank of Western New York. Clinton Elementary provides a hands-on, one-on-one learning experience, taking students on a journey through the basics of a whole new world. They excel in the arts, music, physical activities, leadership, and community service to better themselves and the community around them. This could be why Clinton Street Elementary's motto is, Clinton Cares. Heading deeper into the east side of town, East Elementary's diverse and successful education programs mimic the quality education seen in the other elementary schools. Welcome to West Seneca East Elementary School, home to the East Eagles. This school is located on 1415 Center Road, West Seneca, New York. You will find it attached to the middle school. East Elementary has approximately 500 students. And we have 22 classroom teachers, we have several special educators, we also have 
support staff. And the hub of our curriculum is, of course, literacy. Everything revolves around that. Even if you walk into our gymnasium, you'll see that our phys ed teacher has put up a word wall in his gymnasium, which is instilled in the lessons that he, both he and she teach in there, as well as our music teachers. That is the central focus. We operate in the four blocks framework of English language arts instruction, which ensures that our students get a balanced literacy program. We want to ensure that every one of our students is as successful as they possibly can be, and we do this through something called differentiated instruction. And um, short, shortened a bit, I'll refer to that as DI. In DI, every student's needs and abilities, strengths and likes are analyzed and instruction is individually designed to meet the needs of the students in that. Another element that makes East Elementary so unique is its music program, complete with a jazz band, orchestra, and chorus. They are thought to be at a level of competition quality. This is thanks to the hard work of teachers and students who take pride in what they do. But we shouldn't forget the community and that they play an integral part of the great things that come from the school. The East Elementary community is involved in a number of different things. We have our infamous sweet shop, which has enabled many needy families in West Seneca to improve their holidays through the support of our community. We also have been involved in the West Seneca Food Pantry. Our student council has made visits to West Seneca Manor, which is a, a nursing home in the area. Um, we've just recently received a letter from the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Our student council has supported that project and raised over $2,000 and we were able to support a young lady with a brain tumor and allowed her to have her wish fulfilled. Along with East four-block method of learning and a differentiated instruction curriculum, students may also expand their knowledge and grow through different extracurricular activities, all resulting in a well-rounded student. We hope that every one of our students will be met at the level they're at and be able to become as successful as they can be. The sky's the limit. place to be. <laughs> Something's always new at the zoo. Hi, I'm Bob McGrath. And I'm Big Bird. And we love to make music. Music can help kids learn. Did you know that making music, any music... Like Twinkle Twinkle? All uh, right, like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star can help your child with language, reading, and even math. And it's lots of fun, too. To find out how children learn and grow with music, visit www.amc-music.org. And you'll see... Music works wonders. Yeah, it sure does. All three elementary schools are devoted to both nurturing and educating our children. Past primary education, the journey takes students up to the middle school, a big move in the life of most students. On the east side of town, students from all three elementary schools are united at East Middle, where they will study for the next two years. Behind the leadership of Principal Mrs. Whitman, students at East Middle participate in a diverse study program accompanied by a variety of extracurricular activities. Welcome to East Middle, located on 1445 Center Road, established in 1964 with close to 590 students. This is no typical learning center. Yes, students here excel in math, science, and social studies, but East Middle's treasures lie in its diverse education and preparation for the future. I think the best, if you were to, to describe it in two words, it's a rich curriculum. And that's what, the, that's what students at this age need. They need a lot of exploratory experiences as well as in-depth curriculum related experiences in math, science, social studies, and English. Students are placed on academic teams that allow them to learn and grow together. East Middle has taken advantage of the team program to encourage teamwork. Today teams are competing to raise money and often have food drives. Teaming is a positive social experience for kids because they're with the same teachers for two years. Those teachers start to develop a bond with those students so they know them sometimes better than a lot of people in their own families might know the students. Teams also tend to have a significant influence on students' personal skills. 
In addition to teaming, teams can do social activities with kids. They can do activities that build a strong sense of commitment. The learning, bonding, and growing between students and faculty is not limited to academics. East Middle offers a variety of after-school programs, including sports, peer tutoring, newspaper, and homework tables, just to name a few. With ninth period set aside as an after-school study time, the popularity of after-school activities is at unprecedented levels. We fill, we more than fill two buses at 3.45 every afternoon. Um, we could use three buses, and there are many students who actually are done with homework table at 3.45 and will come to the office and say, I'll take the 4.30 bus if it's okay, if, if I can stay and, and just finish this work, I'd love to do it. Despite the numerous academic courses and clubs East Middle has to offer, it's a special attitude and atmosphere that set this school apart from others. That's part of the you know, goal of school is to make learning an enjoyable experience. And it's a nice, safe place for kids to be. Everything in school counts. And that being a member of a team means that you stick together to, so that everyone on the team wins. And when I say everybody on the team wins, that means they come to school because they want to be here, they're well taken care of, and they're succeeding. After uniting in middle school, new bonds form into friendships that mature and grow in high school. The Alternative Learning Center has its own unique education atmosphere, providing students with the same great education in an alternative place. The Alternative Learning Center is located within the Ebenezer School Building on 900 Mill Road. Uh, the Alternative Learning Center, we have about 50 kids here. And of those 50 kids, about 40% of them come from east and 40% come from west. And one of the things we try very hard to do here is break that stereotype of what an alternative school is. A lot of people think that an alternative school is a place where, where bad kids go, which isn't the case at all. As a matter of fact, here we have some phenomenal students. It's just a place where they go to learn in a different setting than either East High School or West High School. Being kids with different needs differently to help them meet the one need, which is to get them to graduate and be successful in school. The students working, you'll see uh, teachers teaching, you'll see probably a different view of what you think the alternative school is. And that's one of the things we'd like to do, change that perception, show you that a lot of learning does take place here. And we're very excited to, to be part of this program. We have a phenomenal art program. As you're walking down, I encourage you to look at our art displays that are pasted all over the walls. The artwork exemplifies the students' skills and talents. They provide abstract artwork made within certain classes. A character tree at the end of the wall. Uh, what we do is each month we have a different character trait that we try to instill into the students and the ones that exemplify that trait we put their name on a leaf on that tree and it's been very successful. The school provides programs such as the leadership group which is part of the character education committee. This program is trying to help build morale and character. Events are organized monthly to keep students actively involved. The Alternative Learning Center isn't the only place for secondary education in West Seneca, especially on the east side of town. The last place we'll visit today is one of the two largest in the district. East Senior High is the final stop before east side students shed the reins of their youth and begin taking control of their future. Adelphia Crossroads is the place to be for different TV here in western New York. Join me, Peter Anderson, weeknights at 6.30 for a show that's unlike anything else you'll see locally. What's Crossroads all about? Well, it's open phone lines and positive local news. Advice you can use. Open phone lines, area events, activities, and happenings, and your chance to talk to western New York's movers and shakers. Crossroads has information, education, and conversation all for you. Weeknights at 6.30, join Crossroads on Adelphia Channel 13. dramatically decrease marijuana use by your kids. Leading child development experts recommend that parents take bold action. Get involved in your kids' activities and keep them drug-free. In order to create the successful and productive citizens the school district strives to shape, East Senior hosts a wide variety of educational opportunities students can take part in. Welcome to West Seneca East Senior High School, located on 4760 Seneca Street. East Senior may appear to be an average high school, 
but looks can be deceiving. It is what takes place within the building which makes East stand out from other schools within the area. We have a truly comprehensive school at East Senior. Besides uh, having rigorous academic courses, as well as advanced placement courses in all our core academic courses, we also have a wide range of electives. You know, we have a very strong music program, business program, technology program, uh, family and consumer science program, and an outstanding art program. Besides courses currently offered, East Senior is excited to be adding new academies to its course load, which one half of the current freshman class is to be enrolled in for next year. The existing academy we have right now is the Finance Academy, and we have the beginnings of Project Lead the Way, which is uh, for students interested in engineering or pre-engineering. We're also going to be offering AOIT, which is Information Technology, an Educational Strand, as well as a Culinary Arts Academy. As well as being a comprehensive school for academics, East Senior also prides itself on being a comprehensive school for extracurricular activities. We also have a full range of clubs and activities to meet every student's need. And um, there's something for every student in the building in terms of an extracurricular activity that they could uh, be involved in. And by getting involved in these activities, many students are inspired to give back to the community through clubs that focus on community service. Besides all the academics in school, one of the things that we want to instill in our students is what does it mean to be a good citizen, both a citizen from you know, a national perspective as well as what does it mean to be a good citizen in your own community. But kids do not learn all these valuable lessons on their own. It is the attitudes and commitment of the superior faculty here at East Senior that helps the students to excel each and every day. Our teachers feel that every student can succeed and it's their responsibility to ensure students with the help that they need so that success is something that is within every student's reach. Um, for those students who aren't doing very well, our teachers are available after school. We have a full academic intervention program. For those students who may forget to do their homework once in a while, you know, Homework Haven is there. But I think the critical thing is, is that teachers want to reach out to students and ensure them that they are going to work with them so that they have the skills that are needed to pass each course that they're in at East. And that's something we feel very, very strongly about. Mm -hmm. And for those students who have excelled, special programs have been implemented throughout the year to ensure that their outstanding achievements do not go unnoticed and that they are held up as role models for others. You know, we, have on, we have honors assemblies. We, we just had a quantum leap luncheon for those students who um, raise their academic average uh, five percentage points or more. Uh, you know, we... Um, submit to the media uh, a list of those students who have achieved either the merit roll, honor roll, or high honors. We have a high honors luncheon. Uh, we have an honors convocation. I think it's really critical that for those students who are working very, very hard to excel, that they are recognized and they're held up as models to the rest of the school community. I've heard it said that high school is the best time of your life. Of course, East Senior has many different resources to educate and prepare its students but it also teaches students the essentials of life. It is in high school where we learn to make friends, to live, to grow. In essence, it's the place where we learn our values and beliefs. High school especially defines us, and that's all true, right here at East Senior. I definitely feel that way, and I know that Mike and Alexis do. Let's take it to them. Thanks, Tina. You know, Alexis, Tina makes a good point about the way schools influence our lives. Yeah. I can't tell you how much I've learned just from attending school right here in Los Anica. Here at East TV, we generally end each broadcast with some words of wisdom. Marion Wright Elderman once said, All children are essential to America's future. We don't have a child to waste. We will not be a strong country unless we invest in every one of our children. So exactly who is Marion Wright Elderman? She's the founder of the Children's Defense Fund and has fought for the rights of all children, regardless of their color, ethnicity, gender or religion. Today we had a great opportunity to examine the many fruits of the West Seneca Central School District. 
but the real fruits are the children. In fact, we wouldn't be here today if it weren't for the children. With the emphasis we place on educating young people, good schools are so important to families in today's society. Yet, we often fail to recognize the great school system West Seneca has to offer. Hopefully, today we showed you the many important parts of our school system as you can understand how West Seneca is investing in each and every one of our children for a strong future. This has been a production of East TV Special Report. For Gina Hall, Alexis Johnson, and everyone here at East TV, thank you so much for joining us. Place 6,000 miles from home? <laughs>